What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today we're gonna do another low light test between a GH5 and a Sony A7S II. Uh, when I uploaded my first test, people were like, what dude, why is it so dark? Uh, it's supposed to be dark because it's a low light test. But this time around what I did was grabbed two of my LED lights, which is the only lights I have, and used them to supplement the darkness. And that's what we're doing today. I have my good friend here, Limbonic at Limbonic Instagram media thing. He's really cool, really great actor. He's been helping me a lot with my movies. But um, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Uh, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more. The JH5 was shot in Vlog, as you can see, 10 bit. Um, aperture of 2.8, uh, 50th of a shutter, and 400 ISO. Now this test, because people before were like, dude, uh, you know, it's not matching, you're not doing it right, uh, so do it this way. So what I did this time was actually change the aperture, because as you may know, S-Log 2's ISO minimum is 1600. So what I did was compensate with the aperture of 5.0 for the Sony uh, A7S II, as you can see here. So for the Sony A7S II, I shot S-Log 2, ISO 1600, aperture 5.0, uh, shutter speed of 150th to compensate for that ISO of 1600. So now the depth of field might change, but at least you can actually see the difference between these two in low light when there is lights supplementing the scene. So yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. And if you want me to do any more testing with these two, just hit me up in the comments below and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Peace.